We're only four days away from the presidential inauguration as some states prepared for armed demonstrations at their capitals. 13 News' Larissa Casillas tells us what's going on here in the Mountain State. Larissa. Well, Haley, not much is visible to us, but West Virginia's Homeland Security did say they are monitoring the situation with the input of other law enforcement agencies. As neighboring states like Kentucky and Ohio are putting up fencing and ramping up security measures at their state capitals, and with just days leading up to the presidential inauguration, West Virginia's capital Saturday was devoid of any extra safety measures that we can see. We want a wonderful session. We, we need to watch and protect our legislatures. That's because West Virginia Homeland Security Advisor Tom Kirk said Wednesday during the governor's press briefing that they aren't aware of any credible threat in our region. And right now, uh, uh, to say that, uh, that we have no credible threats in our region doesn't mean that we're not remaining uh, vigilant. In fact, just the opposite. Speaker of the House Roger Hanshaw says it's a good thing the legislature isn't in session right now. Still, I think it's a pretty sad commentary on the state of our country that people have decided to pursue armed insurrection as a result of an election. I mean, the, the hallmark of this country for 200 years has been the peaceful transfer of power from one party to the next. Other delegates we spoke with said they felt safe at the Capitol with metal detectors and security at all of the entrances. It's amazing how fences work now and walls work but <laughs> they the for us it's we just haven't had any issues and i don't think we will it's sad when you see a capital in another state or where there has to be um, security measures that prevent people from coming into the people's house and on that note, preparations are already being made for the governor's inauguration Friday, which he says will be scaled back from previous years. In the studio, Larissa Casillas, 13 News. Back to you, Haley.